All right, so we're going to be working on shading our facial features here today. And so I'm starting off with my nose here, and I'm just going to start off with my H pencil. And so I'm looking at my um, photo here of Beyonce. Hello. Um, and I'm kind of going to be looking back and forth. And so within the nose, you can see here there's some dark places and some lighter places. So these gray areas are called midtones. These white areas are called highlights. And these dark areas are called shadows. So we're going to be playing around with our pencils, trying to replicate as close as we can to getting some of these different values. And so one thing I like to do when I'm starting off with value is I like to start with my darker um, areas. And so with the nose, that's always our nostril here. And so I'm looking and I'm kind of filling those in nice and dark because that's the darkest point in my drawing. And so I'm looking again at her and I can see that underneath the nose here and kind of on the side here are my next darkest point. And so I'm gonna go here and using my pencil, and I'm kind of going over that area, trying to get it about the value that I want it to be, because this is where a shadow is. And then I'm gonna go up here and Usually I notice it's easier when I'm doing skin to kind of go in and layer my pencil to make it darker. And so I'm just kind of going to slowly and slowly make this area a little bit darker. And so I'm feeling pretty comfortable with that. And so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to get some of those next darker values, some of these grays. And so I'm looking here. And I'm going to go in with the side of my pencil, applying very light pressure and bringing it down to here. And then I can see it kind of slides in over here as well. And so I'm getting some of that marked in. Nice. Bringing this down over here. Fabulous. And then I'm going to just bring this part out a little bit. So I'm getting some shade in there. Very nice. So now I'm going to go in on this side here, and I can see this part is about the same shade as the part that I just did. And so I'm going to go in and add some of those areas to get that value. So remember, I'm using my H pencil and I'm marking this stuff out. Okay, so I've got some shadows forming. Sweet. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to focus in on this area. And so right here, I'm going to very lightly, a lot of this is learning how to control how hard you press on your pencil. I'm going in. There's no highlights in this area, so I'm shading all of that in. So I'm going to go in and kind of darken this area here because I forgot that there was a shadow right about here. Cool. Let's go over to this side. And I want this area that I'm doing now just to be lighter than what I had done earlier. And so I'm just applying very little pressure. I'm gonna do what I did over here too. I'm just kind of darken this underneath part of the nose. So there is a shadow there. Cool. So there's a slight shadow here that I'm gonna go in. And then this part right here, Super light. Okay, very cool. So at this point, I might look at my drawing and see there's some areas that I might need to darken. And I'm looking at that, this area over here, I'm going to darken that to make sure that my nose kind of pops out here. 
and it creates some of the shape of that node. So I'm going to make sure some of these areas, I'm going to go in and darken them. You can see, yeah, my nose is starting to pop out a little bit more now that I've gone in and done that. And same with this area right here. I'm going to go in and darken that. And the sides here. Wait, you can see it's popping much more off the page now that I've gone in there. So now I'm going to go in and kind of add some stuff back here. And on the side here, I'm going to go at this part. I'm going to just create some of that shape that we have in our nose. So I look at it, I'm like, okay, we're going to do it here. Okay, so we're getting close. This part kind of looks strange in between here. Let me try that too. And just kind of even that shape in the mouth. Not broken dark at all. And I'm starting to look like a pretty good mess. The one thing that you may have been taught before is to kind of Spread any graphite with your fingers. For me personally, that's not something that I like to do, but some people do. And so if you're interested in trying that out, you might want to grab like a paper towel or something. I don't like getting all over the, my fingers and I don't like getting the fingers um, oils on the paper. And so you might go in and just kind of rub some of that graphite. It kind of smooths out what you had done. Again, it's not something that I particularly like with my drawing, but some people really like the smooth effect that it creates. But one thing to be careful of when you do that is you tend to lose some of your darks and you tend to definitely lose your highlights. And so if I go in and do that, I'll usually take my eraser and make sure to erase some of those areas that I wanted to keep nice and light in my drawing. And so this I'm gonna dab so I don't wanna take all the pencil off. Right, that looks good. And same right here. I'm just dabbing so I don't wanna take all the pencil off there. And so sweet, yeah, that's shading on the nose. You can notice we didn't get too dark on that. Our noses generally don't have too much dark on them. And so, sweet, that's shading on your nose.